Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in to your current energy reading. We're going to be looking at the current energies around you and your romantic connections, your past exes, anything that's happening to you in the romantic aspect. Um, so I've got a few decks here with me. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different, but nonetheless, we'll see what the cards can reveal into what this person's thinking and feeling and just what you can sort of expect um, in this current time frame. So this is valid for whenever you sort of pop in and see this video. So hopefully there's something um, there's something here. So let's give the cards a good shuffle. So this can be for any sign watching. Um, if you've clicked on this reading, then maybe there's some advice or some guidance here for you that's going to be helpful. So let's have a look. Okay, we've got the Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Hierophant in the first column. The Chariot reversed, the Knight of Swords reversed, and the Five of Cups. Okay, I... I I am sensing some loss that's going to take place here. There's, there's sort of this feeling of sadness or maybe not loss entirely, but I'm getting it's an energy that you just feel like you're at a stage where you feel a bit stagnant in a connection. Okay. Um, there may have even been some reversals. So someone sort of promised something and, and, and backed their way out of it, didn't follow through with that promise. Um, didn't make something happen, for example. Okay. So that's sort of sitting at the center of the reading. But um, I want to start, maybe let's start off with the first column. Okay, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, um, oh, sorry, that's the page. Sorry, that's the Five of Swords. Okay, so you do have a lot of fives. Okay, so five is the number of changes. One, two, three. It's come up in every column. Um, current energies to have the number five come up so frequently, five of pentacles, um, five of swords, five of cups, um, to have it come up so frequently, five is about um, important changes, okay, so there's big changes um, that are happening in a connection right now, so something that you're living through is undergoing a lot of change, um, I sense there's a lot of emotional change happening as well, but I'm also getting the vibe that there is some sort of stagnancy, and if you have noticed a stagnancy in your connections, uh, things are about to sort of change completely between the both of you so there's there's this expectancy that's coming so things have slowed down because the universe sort of wants you to know that before things slow down that's when they kick up again so i'm sensing there's quite a bit of change coming your way so that's fantastic i think it's positive change i think it's a change that needs to happen it's a change that's going to help you grow because we've got the hierophant and this is the symbolism here um you know for seeing growth and to see that in the cards, um, I think points to, there's a lesson. There's some growing up that's going to be happening either for you or for your person. You're in a place of growing and learning something about yourself. Um, and it has to happen through this current connection. And it has to happen with this current lover or this current person. Now, I feel like the two of ones is telling me that you have either looked at options or you've sort of assessed something or you've compared this person to another. There's been some comparisons that have been drawn from either your side, okay, um, towards this person or from their side to you. So if that sort of happened here, um, what I'm getting is is that it's, it's just a comparison and I'm not seeing a decision that's being made right now. Um, so I'm getting, if you, if you feel like on some level you're competing with the next or someone else, it's sort of like, it's an unknown game right now and there's a lot of possibilities. So it's a very interesting turn of events that are, that are currently happening in this situation. I feel with the, um, the five of swords and the knight of swords, I feel like communication is, is stagnant or you're not reaching, um, you're not reaching certain levels in your communication right now. And that's because I think that stagnancy is coming back up. So communication's reversed somehow. Uh, the progress of a connection or a relationship um, with the chariot card, it's it's coming up reverse. So this is, this is emotions. So I'm seeing that right now, things are a very closed off energy. 
and emotionally either you are sending out some closed out vibes or your person is sending out some closed out vibes and that's sort of like shifting onto this middle column here the five of swords there's something that's happened that has caused this stagnancy and it's something that's really upset either you or it's upset this person and as a result right now it's almost like you're not seeing a future with them or you don't know what the future is going to bring there's a lot of uncertainty there's uncertainty and change in the same reading so it says to me this i feel like is the thing that's going to make you grow it's going to make you see this person how they really are or you're going to sort of look at your situation your love situation differently but i feel like this this current energy says to me there's a lot of things you have to feel out or you have to work out within yourself internally because five represents the five senses, okay? So I'm getting the sense, I'm getting the vibe here that the, you have to consider all your options or you have to consider everything about this one person that you're dealing with or that this one connection that you're dealing with. There's a lot of other points you've picked, uh, possibly put to the side you haven't considered, um, but it's time to address them because if you address them, you're able to grow from the situation. If you're hoping to mend things, I think it's possible. Um, the Five of Pentacles shows that help is needed. Okay, this is almost like a desperation here. I see someone maybe reaching out in desperation. Um, maybe this is you that's going to be reaching out to your person in desperation because you're desperate to fix something or you're desperate to stop this stagnation. Whatever this is, it's almost like festering and it's coming to a point where you no longer want it. So I'm sensing that you might take some sort of action to change that and you will. Okay, there's, there's, we have improvement here. Um, in the third column, we see the six of pentacles that is um, reversed also with the knight of swords. Knight of swords has come up twice. So I get that um, there's potentially two attempts on your part to sort of fix a situation, address a situation or talk to someone properly. Now, things are open-ended right now. So one of these two attempts could help rectify the situation or if you've tried to reach out to your person and said you know hey what's up what's going on this is different or you know i don't really like what you did there or you know i'm, I'm confused about your ex here whatever it is that you need to address don't just address it once because if they shut you down which they may um try again okay the two cups the two knights it's telling me the two ones two attempts are needed at this connection but it's also um a possibility of a rebirth for some of you if this is like an ex-partner or a connection you want to get back on the ground again um if you sort of want to get that back up get that back up and running um it's very likely that that could take place as well so there's there's two attempts there's two chances um, two, two big shots, two big opportunities um, that are coming your way here. So I feel like this is coming to you for a reason. Um, okay, so we've got the Five of Pentacles. The help is needed, but the Six of Pentacles is reversed. The Six of Pentacles is actually the help that's being given. So I'm seeing in someone who is either... One of you is reaching out, desperate to mend things, desperate to work on things, desperate to get closure, to move forward. And the other one is not giving is not giving it to the other person and it's it's unfair there's there's an unfairness that exists in this connection right now can this be back to the stagnancy yes i'm not getting a strong ego vibe there's not there's not a lot of strong fire energy here but there is a lot of strong earth energy and in particular we've got taurus and cancer that, that has come up in the cards here okay so it's taurus energy um and it's uh cancer energy and the words that come to mind is emotional stubbornness so I wouldn't go so far to say it's manipulation, but I would say the reason you're not getting answers or the reason why they're not is because it's emotional stubbornness. I don't want to activate this emotion, therefore I'm not going to talk about this. Um, or I don't want to go there because I know how you're going to react when I do so. I don't want to I don't, I don't want to go to that part. I don't want to be part of it type thing. Um, I think, as I said, it's going to fester, but eventually it will come out. I, I keep returning back to this like second attempt, second conversation, second chance, second try, uh, second opportunity. So I feel like you need to be patient in this regard. But yes, those words did come to mind as I was doing this reading. But there's growth that's going to come of this. It's it's rewarding here with the Hierophant. Um, you know, and it's wisdom. So I feel like if you may do this second attempt to rectify things, to work things out, you may receive some knowledge or some wisdom that you haven't thought possible. But like I said, um, you're going to have to be patient because the five of pentacles is there. You're in that position now, I feel. But with the six of pentacles, someone's not ready to give that back to you. 
And that's why you feel like in some ways with Chariot, you, you're backtracking and you're like, wow, this is going to backtrack the connection. This is going to make us not be what we were, what, what we once were. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of thoughts coming up around you here. Knight of Swords is telling you don't get too carried away with your thoughts and don't get too carried away with assumptions because that is possibly the worst thing you can do right now. You're going to have to be patient as hard as it is. Um, and I feel like there's a message here from the spirit guides that are telling you that this patience will wear off and you will get the... Um, you will get the advice that you're wanting and you will be able to work through this issue and you'll be able to grow together. But I think patience is key right now in this situation. Or maybe there's a message that you need to be emotionally stubborn. Maybe this is not your person. Maybe this is you. And maybe you need to have some of those walls up so that person can't just get to you and get you down or get you upset or hit you where it hurts. So maybe there's a wall that needs to come up. You know, we see the bridge here. It needs to come up on your side. Maybe you have to be the six of pentacles reversed and not give your person what it is that they feel they can get from you very easy so it could very much be reversed as well i'll leave your reading at that though so thank you so much for tuning in it's been an absolute pleasure um don't forget to like share subscribe um it really does mean a lot that you've popped over to my channel um thank you so much for all your love your views and your support and i do hope to be in touch um very very soon so bye for now